Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today is the head men's basketball coach at Oklahoma City University, Coach Mark Barakoff, in his second season with the program. And Coach, it's always a privilege to get to visit with you. I'm, I'm thankful always for the time that I get to spend with you and talk basketball. You're a wealth of information and pretty good coach on top of that as well. At Oklahoma City, though, that's your second season there. I know you are so familiar with this program and were before you became the head men's basketball coach there, but this is the 100th season of basketball at Oklahoma City University. And what a fantastic legacy it has. Six national championships in the NAIA, um, number of appearances in the NCAA tournament when the program was a part of the NCAA as well, a legacy of fantastic coaches, of which you are one now too, a number of All-Americans. So many great things have happened I could talk about OCU basketball for a long, long time, but what's it like now being a part of that and knowing that the, the program's celebrating its 100th year? Yeah, well, thanks for having me on. Um, you guys, you always do a great job with all the coaches you have on, so it's an honor. Um, Thank you. 100 years of basketball, I mean, that's uh, – there's not a lot of programs. I mean, I, I mean, I can't think off the top of my head. A lot of the programs that do have a 100-year anniversary, and for us to be able to celebrate it, it's pretty cool, and – um, and to be a part of it as the head coach is even, it's even, it's, I, it's, I can't really even describe it. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of surreal. Um, there's, there's so much history with this program. Um, you know, just last night playing against Oklahoma and, and talking to people around there that uh, remember 45, 50 years ago of, of OCU men's basketball. And remember, you know, the last game we played, Wayman Tisdale played against them. Um <laughs> But no, it, it's quite an honor. Um, you hear about the tradition and the winning all the time. It's always brought up. Um, when you practice in Abe Lemons Arena, you look up at all the national championship banners that this school has amassed. And uh, um, but it, it's it's a good it's a good pressure um, that winning is uh, is expected here. And uh, OCU men's basketball, regardless if you're good or bad, people, it's always a game people look forward to to playing because of because of the history of the program. Well, Coach, you, you brought me back a little bit even with that because I think Wayman Tisdale was the first big basketball name I knew growing up uh, as a, a very young teenager and way back when. But you played at the University of Oklahoma last night, an exhibition game. You mentioned that briefly, 89-53, to 53, the final score in that first real opportunity to see this 22, 23 squad. What did you think of them on the court last night? Well, I thought, I thought we did a lot of good things. Uh, I mean, at halftime, we, we held them to 39 points and um, I was really pleased with that. Now we gave up a lot in the second, but you know, the big, the big thing for us was to go out and compete and to see where we're at. I mean, they're way ahead of us in terms, you know, they did a foreign tour and all that stuff. We haven't been able to do that. Um, but I was happy with the competitiveness. I, we started two freshmen that probably hasn't been done in OCU in a long, long time. Um, so for two freshmen to get their first college basketball action against Oklahoma is pretty, you know, it's impressive for those guys. Um, but, but I was happy. All in all, I was really happy. We competed. And uh, more than anything, um, the game kind of took on a life of its own with some with old OCU people and um, it brought a lot of people out that remember when we, when OCU played Oklahoma all the time. Um, you know, the referee last night kind of said to me, I, he goes, I saw it's been 40 years since you played. You know, that, that means people are paying attention. And that was, you know, with Porter and I, that was kind of the idea. Uh, we're right down the street from each other. There's some history involved with the two, with the two teams. And uh, I thought it was awesome. So it was a win-win for us. And I think Oklahoma got something out of it because we played really hard. But in the end, it was good for our university. It was good to have national TV coverage or with the ESPN coverage. And uh, it got our name out there again. Well, Coach, I do want to talk about those freshmen, too. Let's go ahead and start with some seniors and, and folks that are returning from last season. Among those, Corey Guest and, and Trayvon Claiborne, two players that are seniors for you that uh, logged at least 30 minutes a game for you. And last night performed pretty well as as well. 14 points for, for Guest, 12 points for Claiborne in that. Talk about your returnees for this year. Yeah, those two uh, are returning starters for us. Drayvon started second semester on. And Corey's uh, Corey was a, he's been a starter ever since he got here to OCU, um, and he was an All Conference, I think, honorable mention last year. Um, no, they're they're good. They're they're our senior captains. Um, they've played in a lot of games here at Oklahoma City. Uh, I thought last night they played really well. 
Uh, I know for Corey, as an Oklahoma kid from Tulsa, it was it was a good thing for his senior year to be able to play, you know, at Oklahoma. Um, I, I was very impressed with those two. And then uh, Dadrian Holmbrecker is a senior. Uh, Zach LeBlanc is a senior. Um, and, and I thought that they've also played really well. And they've 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 taken last year's success and continued on with this year and have been and have been good senior leaders for us. So I was really happy with them. You talk about last year's success, your first season with the program, 17 and 14, the record overall, and a vast improvement over just two wins in the previous season, which was a COVID shortened season at that, but still uh, a, a big improvement. We're here on the summit today talking with Mark Barakoff, who is the head men's basketball coach at Oklahoma City University. And we are on Midwest Sports Net. I encourage you, please like this video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel because it really does help. Coach, uh, you, we talked about some seniors, some of those that return. But you mentioned freshmen just a moment ago. You have seven of them on the roster. I mean, that's no small thing. Great recruiting, recruiting for this season. A couple of them started for you. I know it's a big deal to have players like Jack McWilliams, one of those freshmen, seven foot one, the first seven footer in the program in about 20 years. He comes from Australia. Lots of new faces for you. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're trying to do something different at OCU. OCU has been very heavy with D1 and D2 transfers. Um, it's not that we want to go away from that, but um, when I took the job, I, I, I had said we want to do what we did at Randall, which was mixed in freshmen with transfers. And uh, we're, we're trying that here. I know it's, it's our league is so heavy with transfers. Um, but if you look at some of the success that other programs have had out there, they're doing it with bringing in young, young kids. And uh, what I like about that is, is that they become freshmen and they become sophomores and juniors and you keep building that culture um, rather than just a couple guys come in for a year and then they're out of here, um, which is not a bad way to do it. We're going to still try to bring those type of guys in. But um, yeah, Avery Jackson and, and, and Jack McWilliams are two guys that, that start for us right now. Uh, we were lucky to get Jack. I mean, it's seven foot one and he came from the Australian NBA Academy over there. The uh, so He's had a lot of good experience. I, I, I know he played with the Boomers twice, I think, during COVID. So that's great experience. And uh Avery Jackson played at Frisco Memorial where I mean, he led them all the way to the 5A state quarterfinal game and, and was one of his leading scorer. Um, so we're, we're happy with our freshmen. Yes, seven, seven is a lot of freshmen, but uh, I, I like I like them and they, they really bought into the university and the program. Well, that means you could very well be looking at seven seniors in about three years as well, and, and seniors that will have been a part of your team and your culture for that long. So the, the future could be very bright. Uh, Coach, the Sooner Athletic Conference, you mentioned that just a moment ago and, and talking about that league, you all were picked seventh according to the preseason coaches poll. And uh, really in, in looking at the poll and the way it broke down, I mean, there there was a lot of variety in the voting. Didn't seem like, I mean, there, there was a favorite, but – Clear cut at the top, maybe not so much, and right there in the middle where you are were as well, at least according to those numbers. It seems like it could be a, a wide open league again. Yeah, you know the coaches' polls are always kind of funny because you know you, you never. I don't know if you ever get a true read on what you know. Every coach thinks their team's going to be really good, and if you don't at this time, then there's something wrong. But um, I don't really pay much attention to that. Last year we were picked bottom half, and we came in third and went to the conference semifinals and. And I'm sure there's other coaches in our league that are saying the same thing. But coaches' polls are cool. It gets the media looking at it, and it gets players interested. But um, we don't really concern ourselves with that. I, the league is going to be very, very good. Um, you know, I think just talking to a few coaches around the conference that it could be one of the best leagues we've had in quite a while. I think there's a lot of talent. The coach, it's you know, the the league is so well coached. And they recruit so well that it's every game is a gauntlet. The whole game, the, the conference is all a gauntlet. Um, you know, you got to try to win your home games and sneak them out on the road. And there's no easy, there's no easy games. And uh, that's why it's fun to be in this conference. Uh, I think we're one of the best conferences in America. I think we have some of the best coaches in America. We have some of the best players. Um, but yeah, it, we're, we're going to battle. Um I like some of the transfers we brought in and Parker Jones and Brandon Jackson, and we're, we're going to be right there at the end, I think. And that's just, you know, we're going to keep battling. And if we have to prove people wrong again, we'll prove people wrong. <laughs> well, coach, and that, that'll be fun to watch. I happen to agree with you. I think the senior athletic conference is at, at the top uh, um, among coaches, teams, 
players. I mean, environments too. It's it's a great place to watch a basketball game. Before I let you go, let's talk about that schedule. And and it's interesting. We talk about the Sooner Athletic Conference. You head out to Glendale, Arizona, right about a week from now. Three games in three days. Two of those against Sooner Athletic Conference teams uh, on the football side. Sorry, yeah. Ottawa, Arizona, and Arizona Christians not in the Sooner Athletic Conference in basketball. But you'll get to face those two teams as well as the Masters. Then coming back home, November seventh is the home opener, and then no, November seventeenth is not only the Sooner Athletic Conference opener, but it's also going to be a home as well. And I'm sure it is fun. It is fun to watch a game and being a fan to come to Abe Lemons Arena. I'm, I'm sure it's fun to coach and play one there as well. Yeah, the, the schedules, I didn't make it easy. Um, <laughs> you know, the three teams were playing out in Arizona. I saw Arizona Christian just got named the number one team in the country uh, on, the, on the first poll. And uh, the Masters is always good. And Ottawa was a tournament team. And it's, you know, it's tough to play at Arizona Christian. And uh, But I wanted to challenge our guys. I'm never really concerned with what, what our record is in the first semester. Uh, my teams traditionally have always been really good in the second semester on. Uh, I want us to be challenged and play different teams. And I, I like giving the guys an opportunity to travel. We're going to fly out to Arizona and and give them give them that experience. And uh, Ozark Christian comes in our first home game with with Coach Chris Lamb, who I played for in college. So that's going to be pretty fun. Um, yeah, and then, you know, the home opener, I, you know, the home league opener, I, I want to say I could be wrong, but it might be Texas Wesleyan. Um, You're right. Who's a perennial favorite in the league, always. And uh, I know they feel they're going to be really good. So, and then, you know, with Abe Lemons Arena, I, I love coaching and I love seeing the name on the floor. Uh, I think it's quite an honor to be to be involved with that in the name. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a tough schedule. It, it doesn't get any easier. Uh, it's going to come fast and quick and we're going to have to be ready. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm excited for our program and the future of the program, and the culture that we're building. And I love that our kids are bought into the university and the academics here. Uh, we had the best first four weeks grades we've had in a long time. So I'm really pleased about that. And uh, I, I just love the support. I mean, last night we had great support from our from our fan base and our, our other teams here on campus. So that made me real excited about where we're going with the program. Well, Coach, we look forward to following you here on Midwest Sportsnet. And I know the the stars and the, the entire athletic department, friends of the, of the channel here, we appreciate getting to uh, visit with you today, Coach Mark Barakoff. Again, in his second season with Oklahoma City University, the men's basketball team is getting ready to go. One exhibition game in the books already about a week from now on the road. And then don't forget, Stars fans, November 7th, Ozark Christian, that's at home. November 17th, as Coach mentioned, Texas Wesleyan, that is at home as well. You get your first real chances to see the Stars, the 22-23 edition of the Stars. Coach, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. We appreciate it and always enjoy the visit. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for what you do for small college basketball. It means a lot. Thank you, sir.